Hi, it's John T, the Omni Outliner Pro, and I'm back again to talk about problem solving using Omni Outliner. Um, the logic tree is a tool that I like to use when I need to get from a general problem statement right down to a list of tasks or to-dos. And um, the two benefits of that, first of all, is that in asking the question, um, what do I need to do? to get something accomplished, I get the buy-in from the group because they know what, what needs to be done and when they actually say it out loud they, they come to a realization, okay well this is what we need to do. The second reason I like to use the, the logic tree is that it doesn't limit me to solutions um, because we're, we're constantly asking well what do we need to do to get this done. It doesn't lead to a specific solution all the time. So it's, it's uh, very useful in that way. Now I've just set up a, an example in Omni Outliner. Um, we've got a situation where a family needs to increase their annual household savings and uh, as is usual with an Omni Outliner session we start off with a data dump or, or a brainstorming session and um, the purpose in this case though is to cre try to create a couple of broad uh, categories of solutions. So if we look at the list that's been created here, we look at fire the maid, cut the grocery bills, uh, ne renegotiate the mortgage, and these are basically cost-cutting measures. The other couple of items are get a second job and do a garage sale. These are revenue generating. So what we would do is set those up on separate rows. So here we've got increase revenue and cut costs. And now what we would do is just drag and drop items from the brainstorming session down into the appropriate topic area. But the way we would do this is we would bring them down one at a time and then basically work them to death, continually asking the question, what do we need to do to accomplish this? So let's start with Fire the Maid. We'll drag and drop that item down here. And in terms of what do we need to do to Fire the Maid, it's relatively straightforward on the surface in that you know, you write up a, your, your notice, you give them the notice, um, final paycheck, um, anything else, thank them and, and wish them luck. Um, but really, there are broader implications when we do, do something like this. And what I like to do to emphasize this is to create a, a row right under the, the proposal of implications. Well, the one implication is there's a savings of $220 a week. The other implication is that somehow 22 hours of household work need to be made up. So the question here is, what do we need to do to make up those 22 hours of household work? And again, you go to the group and you say, well, what really needs to be done to make this to make this happen? And you know, not likely, but if you're, the group includes your kids and they say, well, get the kids to pitch in, then that becomes the solution you start to work on. Okay, well, what do we need to do to get the kids to pitch in? Well, we need to free up time by, and one way to do it is to uh, create less television time. So, say, okay, well, we need to limit television time here. And then, again, the question becomes, well, what do we need to do to limit television time? And a solution might be, well, we limit the viewing to prime time. So you're only watching during those, those hours. Well, of course, there's always give and take in these situations. But what do we need to do to accomplish this? Well, we can turn the television off to, until that time. And then, well, you've got people who may want to watch shows before that time. Well, what do we need to do? Well, we record their favorite shows and watch during prime time. So any, all television viewing can now be done during prime time. But again, what do you need to do? You keep asking that question until you get down to a few to-do items. So you've got to set the PVR to record their favorite shows, but before that you've got to find out what their favorite shows are. So those are some t solid to-dos that you can create that will ultimately wind up, in this case, saving you f bringing back 15 hours of time of household chores. Okay, but you still have a deficit of seven hours. So now you have to go right back up the chain to here, the this solution here, which is not a to-do, um, less television time. What do we need to do 
to limit television time. And the solution might be something like no television on Sundays. And again, you work that all the way down to, well, what do we need to do so that people can have less television on Sundays? And in this case, again, it's set the PBR to record shows. Um, and that'll save, a, that'll bring back four more hours, but we still have a three hour deficit. So let's assume that we've exhausted the possibilities of of getting the kids to pitch in or, or this, this particular line of, of solutions. So we have to go right back up again and say, what do we need to do to make up those 22 hours? Well, we can get the parents to take turns prepping prepping meals and, and so on so on as an, the analysis goes. So you can see that we went from a very general uh, statement of or, or a solution of well fire the maid to some concrete tasks that will actually allow you to to move towards your solution. So that's a logic tree using Omni Outliner. I'm John T. the Omni Outliner Pro. Thanks for watching.